Hello, and welcome to PJ Courses Annual Contingency Plan Training. So what is a contingency plan? Before I get into that, I want to start by asking you the following questions. Does your organization have critical functions that rely on information technology? For example, does your organization require email services? Does it require access to the internet? And as an employee, are you able to do your job without a computer? Well, if you answered no to any of these questions, then your organization should have a plan of action in place in case critical network services become unavailable. A contingency plan lists interim measures to implement following an emergency or system disruption to critical network components. In other words, think of a contingency plan as your network's plan B. Now, those interim measures that you can take, it can include the following. The relocation of IT systems and operations to an alternate site, the recovery of IT functions using alternate equipment, or the performance of IT functions using manual methods. We are providing you with this training for the following reasons. To optimize the effectiveness of your contingency operations, Although we cannot create a plan for every potential system disruption, this training will identify activities, resources, and procedures that may need to be carried out in the event of prolonged interruption to normal operations. This training will also make you aware of your role and responsibilities as well as the role and responsibilities of other staff members. Finally, this training will help you to understand how to coordinate with other staff members and external point of contacts that will participate in contingency planning activities. This contingency plan training aligns with the guidelines listed in the NIST Contingency Planning Guide for Federal Information Systems, also known as the NIST 834. This guidance details the contingency planning process to include how to conduct a business impact analysis, how to create contingency strategies, and how to train, test, and maintain your organization contingency plan. The contingency plan coordinator should maintain and update the process on an annual basis. So let's begin by discussing the different roles and responsibilities of a contingency plan team. We start off with the contingency planning coordinator. This person oversees the plan that will be put in place to continue business operations in the event of an incident that activates the contingency plan. Then there's the damage assessment leader. This team leader provides leadership and oversight during each phase of the contingency plan. They provide a summary of the affected areas of the network after an incident first occurs. Then you have the legal team leader. This person provides the organization with legal counsel. And then there's the server recovery team. This team manages organization servers and are able to bring them back to health if needed. You also have the LAN WAN recovery team. They are in charge of the local access network and wireless access network. They will make sure that all the office computers are functional and network adapters can access the internet. Then there's the database recovery team. They will manage the network database backups and restoration systems. Then there's the network and firewall team. This person or group will help to recover the firewall and network devices if necessary. If you don't know what a firewall is, here's a definition. The firewall prevents internet-based attacks and unauthorized access from spreading into your computer and payment systems. Firewalls and network devices manage the flow of computer data traffic allowed into and out of your network. The telecommunication team will help to ensure that organization staff members can communicate with each other and customers. These are the different roles that make up the contingency plan team. We suggest each role should participate with the testing of your organization contingency plan. Other roles can be added based on the organization need and the system owner's discretion. I hope you now have a very good understanding of some of the roles and responsibilities of a contingency plan team. We're going to pause for now. In the next video, I would like to review with you the five phases of contingency plan development. Those phases are First, the notification and activation of the contingency plan. Second, the mobilization of staff to alternative solutions and locations. The third phase is the recovery of business processes using alternative solutions and locations. The fourth phase is the reconstitution of normal operations using primary solutions and locations. And finally, 
We're going to go over how to conduct lessons learned activities for the benefit of improving the contingency plan and also to minimize the risk of having to activate the plan in the future. See you in the next one.